Real quick before the video begins, I wanted to point out a thing that happened during the video where it was lagging while my character was running. Um, I'm not exactly sure what was causing that, but I'm going to take a look in the graphics settings and fix that for next video. I just wanted to get that out of the way for any of you who were wondering, and with that out of the way, enjoy today's video. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing the event that just got released in Genshin called Akitsu Kimo Damashi. And it otherwise is basically the test of courage in Genshin. So we got to the point now where we're about to enter the event. We have to choose from Kazuha, Kazuha uh, Goru, or Ayaka. Uh, I'm going to hear out each character and see what each one says, and then I'll choose which one I want as my teammate. Oh, traveler, Paimon. I didn't expect to run into you here. We're here for the test of courage. How about you? Well, I was originally headed to Yai Publishing House to hand in the responses for this month's issue of That's Life. Hmm. I had no idea that that... Crafty Fox would be there. She brought up the Test of Courage event and suggested I give it a try. I wasn't interested, but she said, The mighty general of Watatsumi Island isn't afraid of anything. Oh! She tricked him. And before I knew it, I found myself caught in her persuasive mind games. I immediately regretted it the moment I arrived here. There could be traps. Hold on, my, uh younger brother just messaged me this is a little bit um my instinct tells me that the irresponsible during a video but um one misstep and it'll be over let me just message him back crafty fox is hiding somewhere in the dark waiting for another opportunity to tease me who knows she might even use a camera and send embarrassing photos back to watatsumi island her excellency once said when you march into an ambush, escape the enemy vanguard. I just put my escape phone on silent. And seek ample reinforcements. There we go. Mm. Now that you're here, maybe we can turn the tables. Could I ask you two to partner up with me? Mm, let me think about it. Oh, sure. I completely understand. Perhaps you have a friend you'd like to enter the test of courage with? Anyway, whoever you decide to partner up with, the most important thing is to enjoy the event. Good luck. I love how they make me choose from different characters. I just realized something. This is not good in the past as working. Yeah, that that's going to help a lot more. All right. Um, Ayaka's there. Let's go talk to Kazuha. Kazuha. God, I keep fucking saying what instead of ha. Kazuha. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I knew that I'd see you around here. Kazuha! We meet again. Paimon didn't expect to see you at the test of courage. It'll be interesting and to see what that? he says. Do I seem unsuited for this sort of event? Oh, no, not at all. It's just that Paimon's never seen you get scared, Kazuha. You're always so calm and collected. It's like you've never been scared by anything. You flatter me. I suppose that's only a reflection of my time wandering in the wilderness. I've heard many strange stories in my travels. I can say I've even experienced a few myself. Over time, I must have gotten used to it. Oh, nice. That makes sense. But, uh, why do you want to join the Test of Courage? Probably a test of strength. After hearing the Yashiro Commission promote the rewards for this event, I was guessing that you two would show up. Since we hadn't seen each other for some time, I figured I might as well come and see you. After Editor, all, do me a favor and just throw up on the screen the, bro the spirits. um oh, so you were waiting the for sword that's for this event because it's actually right. pretty funny. So tell me, just throw it up um, over there in the well. corner, I guess. Uh, by the way, the Shrine Maiden told us Thank you, by the way, Editor. Partner to participate in the Test of Courage event. Have you found a partner yet, Kazuha? No, not yet. Do you need me to be your partner? 
I want to, but, uh, because he was the one character that I didn't get that I really wanted. Well, so is Ayaka. Mm, let me think Take about it. Time. We'll we could even go together for a late night snack once the event is over. I have a feeling I know what my younger brother Fire Zone is probably going to choose, but um, I'm a little bit different when it comes to this. I'm gonna just kind of there we go. All right. Um, I think I am going to choose. Don't get me wrong. Love Kazuo. Love Goro, but. And this is really weird, or something I probably shouldn't say, but I am a simp for Ayaka. So, have you given it some thought? Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Or I, I really I like say, Ayaka. Please pardon my inexperience. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. You're fine. All right. Begin the first round of the Test of Courage. Which... Go back up here. Alright. Ah, it looks like you found yourself a partner. The event is just about By the way, for start. any of you who are wondering, if I keep looking down be looking sort of this way, round. it's because I have my it's OBS open um, on my Dango drawing tablet. Milk. Ooh. Dango milk? Correct. Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his dongo milk, and it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju forest. The path will be this girl is crazy, but some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I. See to follow the signs. That's one sign. It's pointing this. Wait. Oh no, it's not. It's right there. Where's the next one? There. This reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me several years ago. There. there. Was a samurai, who while crossing the forest at night noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures D that didn't appear to be human. Uh, were all Ayaka, scary. are you good? <laughs> what the hell? That's super scary. Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story. I saw her friggin' running back and forth. Really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, traveler. Okay. So bunch of signs. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know why, but I just... <laughs> oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I can't quite make out what it is, but there seems to be something moving there. <laughs> that was not scary at all. That was just... Please... Stay a little closer. Okay. You good, Ayaka? Come on. This way. Investigate. Look, everyone. Isn't this the dongo milk we're searching for? And there's a scarecrow beside it. Strange. What is that doing here? Well, it doesn't matter now. Since we found the dongo milk, then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much dongo milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? Paimon could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the dongo milk here. Oh, okay. It's watching if we touch the dongo milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon didn't even touch it. Oh, maybe you're right. Paimon will try to come That down. is a little bit creepy. Uh, I will say one thing. It's not you 
drink some dongle milk with Ayaka. I don't know if that's going to disqualify us or not. The fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dongle milk. And now that I look around, this is Chinju Forest as I've always known it. After making it here, it doesn't seem nearly as frightening. Mm. My brother once said that fear stems from one's heart. And if your heart is at peace, Ayato is very wise, that's for I sure. I understand what he meant. But fear is not entirely bad. Although I've been scared a few times, I still feel happy now. Ah, uh, mm. through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? Ah, I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. Why? Why is A out here? Have a lovely chat with your friend. That's A, right? Not the Raiden. Oh, it's really you! What are you doing? Oh, hello. Nico told me about the test of courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Ah, so that's why you're here. So what do you think of the test of courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. Mm. I wasn't scared by anything. But on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Nico. Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? Mm, yeah. If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the dongle milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too. Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure. I'll take one. What is Dongo Milk? I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. I've thought about it's maybe doing a video on like milk. creating different dishes huh? from Genshin. Let me know milk? down in the comment section if you guys will enjoy that. Gems? Um I might do that over on Revero Studios because my younger brother and me really both enjoy Genshin, so Leave a comment down below if you want me to do that. Also, leave a like on this video if you are enjoying. And turn on the post notifications, because that would help a lot. I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. <gasps> this is the... Uh... And it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball. This is, um... Elemental cubes. Break. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Akitsu Hazura? What's that? It's a game where you Hana use Sobe? to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazura when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time. Yakiyako. And and Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Yokai. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Mikawa Flower Makoto Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. Hmm. She found it particularly fascinating. Well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. That's like crazy. Paimon would like to play. If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Okay. Yay! I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds. So please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. So, is this going to be like the Misty Sands where it happens like a couple of days and then the new one comes out? I hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh, the more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Oh, 
I just found out something recently. Paimon's voice sounded a lot different when uh, the game was in beta. And I wish they would bring that back because all oh, the high pitch is like... You love Paimon, but you just want to strangle her. <laughs> so, what'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? You did not scare me, I, uh, 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 yeah. Arataki. You did not scare me at all, Ito. What? No way! Listen, every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Where's my anyway, vision? I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> I will <laughs> use my vision on you. You ready? We've got people to scare. I might keep my vision next to me in case anything bad happens. By the way, it's a uh, fire zone got it for me. It's a uh, electro vision, like um, the Raiden has, which is pretty cool. All right, why am I helping you scare people? I don't want to. I guess I have to though. Boom. Poor Razor. All right. Shh, I think we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? Are we a bunch of kids now? Oh, I really hope it's not A, because if it is, um, hmm. Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what will scare them. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, this is boring, and let's go home. It's, it's dark, and their guard is okay, down. my hope is it's the gang, oh, yes. and it's not Miko or A, because... Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next amp. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump. Two. One. Ah! Oh, it's kids. Uh, wait, you're not. Oh, they scurried fast. Holy shit. Wait, hold on a second. <sighs> Did you see that? That so all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, what should we do? Do you think the ghosts are coming after us? <laughs> oh, Paimon. I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. <clears throat> well, you sh you shouted ghosts, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. Very true. Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which oh. means they were afraid of us, too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But, but... There's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? Paimon, calm down. Now, they might try to eat us. Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. So, uh, on second thought, Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind! Ever! Hmm, 
Hmm. It looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly. Or I'm on scared. So let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. Has a bad they scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. But the second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? Alrighty, this is going to be interesting. I don't think they were scary, like, at all. Well, we've already walked all the way here. Is that a crow? Uh, mm, why is it... I where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Hey, listen up, you three little wimps. Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that, Paimon. Uh, there's someone actually here. Paimon's scared again. <sighs> it's just going to be don't. Do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? What uh, the hell? Excuse us. Did you happen to see three? Are you talking to me? To someone like me? You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you. Be gone. All righty then. Um. Wake up. Hey, traveler. Wake up! Izu! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. Uh, please don't eat Paimon! Paimon doesn't taste very good! Oh, please avenge Paimon! Are you here to rescue Paimon? Did you manage to defeat her? Not exactly. Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. That was interesting. There appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. Oh. Commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Ah, so you've heard of it. The game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by ghosts? Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. Whoa! The that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. 
That's the crazy. The wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors. But before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage. So visitors have gradually returned again. Huh. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait, so the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still- Ayato's got some explaining to do. Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. Yeah, that's true. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Whoa, weird. Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, that is the so weird. The did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the test of courage. Who set up the game on the beach, and why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth, so I'm here to investigate. Anyway, uh -huh. don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir. Alrighty. So, I'm just going to basically skip over this part. It's just me going to town, doing the events that are around... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit longer than most of my videos, but stay tuned for the next couple of episodes on this event, and I will catch you guys later.